What is good, um, my YouTubers? Um, my name is Cricket the Leader, and thank you for viewing this. Although I'm not very big up on YouTube, thank you for viewing this, and um, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, please, dear sir. This is um top five Naruto fights in my book. Um, this is con this will consist of ties. This is because of ties and honorables, maybe honorables, because it's the top of my head. So I just want to tell you right now, this is not saying, oh, what about this fight? What about that fight? I've looked at every fight in Naruto, and I, these are just my top top fights, top five fights. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, my top, my number five fight was is a tie. It is Shira versus Rock Lee. Now, what made this very interesting fight is that. Both that both users are Taijutsu users, and that although it was a lot of talking, this is what put it in number five in my category because I don't like a lot of fights with all the talking, all the yeah you are stronger. Nobody wants to hear all that. Nobody wants to hear all that. To be honest, and this fight was it was very it was very fast pacing. It was it was short. Because I don't, because a lot, a lot of fights, a lot of times in an Naruto fight, if it's long, that means they're talking. That doesn't mean, oh, we're gonna fight for this long. No, that means you're talking. Either you're talking in your head, or you're just talking out loud, and nobody wants to hear all that. And this is tied up with Naruto vs. Sasuke fight, the final Naruto vs. Sasuke fight, for part one of Naruto franchise. Now, this fight was the fight to end all fights for Naruto vs. Sasuke. This fight had a lot of talking in it as well as the Shira vs. Rock Lee fight. But what got to me this that after all this all the people that have sacrificed their lives for Sasuke, Sasuke still wants to go to Orochimaru for power, leaving the village, and Naruto does all he can, releases the QB Naruto, which is the debut of the actual QB Naruto. He had Naruto has to go all throughout this, gave a promise to Sakura just to get Sasuke back and to do all this Naruto loses the fight, surprisingly, and it's kind of sad because Naruto did all this just for Sasuke, because he, he has Sasuke as his first friend, his first friend, and this was really sad to see, but it had a lot of, Naru we saw Sasuke finally use his Uchiha techniques and you does all this and he finally told Naruto how he really felt that they're not that close and it just really got to me how this fight was and I kept watching this fight over and over and over to look at it it was very dramatic number four this is also a tie Sasuke versus Itachi now this fight wasn't since this fight wasn't very long as far as I'm hearing it, it was like 40 minutes, I'm looking at it, 40 minutes long, and they don't do a lot of talking, but at the same time they do, and, but they don't do a lot of fighting either, but they actually do. It's kind of complicated, but this fight was pretty, pretty long for a fight, and for Uchiha's to be fighting, Uchiha's, they plan, do you know how Uchiha's are, they plan out everything, and to find out, Itachi was helping Sasuke from the start. And what really emotionally made me cry is when to find out Itachi died with a, with, a, with a smile on his face. You don't see that a lot in any kind of anime or anything like that. A lot of fights. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying, oh, you haven't seen this cricket, you haven't seen that. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, I haven't seen a lot of anime that a person dies with a smile on their face. It just made me sad to see that one of the best characters in Naruto died. And this is tied, and Jiraiya versus Pain. This is still a tied with number four. Now, Jiraiya was one of the main characters in the Naruto franchise. And to see him fall in battle was one of the most saddest things ever. And it just broke my heart to see that Jiraiya, Pervy Sage, the guy we all loved, died. But he died, and he was one of the only few people that actually realized what Pain's abilities actually were, how they worked, and he he kind of messed up the Himley Village by giving them that number code. But I mean, at the same time, it was kind of hard to give them 
a word code because then the the fucker suit probably wouldn't have got away with the code. But the point was, Jiraiya was one of the best characters, and Pain just blew him away. He was just, it was pretty sad. And the point was that he died, and nobody can ever, he never had a proper burial since his body was never found. It still, it still be floating in the water as we speak today. Who would know? But that's besides the point. This was one of the most the best fights I've ever seen in my life. But it still has hit number four while it's talking. And that I have fights that I like a little bit better in the in the franchise. Number three, Naruto versus Pain. Now this fight was really, really long. It was two hours and 15 minutes and 17 seconds. I know it's kind of freaky for a guy like me to know, but I mean everybody has seen. It. If you haven't seen this fight, you have not seen a good battle, my dear sir. You probably need to go watch it as soon as you get done watching this. Um, but this was a fight that that took down everything. The Lim the Henley Village was destroyed. Hinata was at near death, and Naruto finally met his father. It was very um. It was a very intense fight, although. Then when we found out Naruto turned to the Six Tails was one of the most OP things at that time. He he pretty much t almost took down Pain with the Six Tails, but Pain wasn't stupid. He held his own now. That's one thing that I haven't seen ever in my life. Somebody hold their own against the Six Tails. Now that was pretty cool. All the flying around, dodging the the um, the QB arms, all that. That that was one of the best things I've ever seen. But what got to me is that all this and Naruto was the only one that actually could defeat him. In my opinion, if Naruto did not learn the Sage Mode, he would not be in pain. I'm sorry. I'm not saying Naruto's a bad dude. I mean, if he didn't learn the, the Sage Mode in time, it, he probably wouldn't have um, been able to defeat pain. Number two. Now, this fight, I love this fight. I, w I could watch this fight for a good hour, although that fight is not even that long. This is Ch Choji versus Jirobo. My boy Choji. Now, he's one of the best characters to me on the franchise completely. He was he was pretty much one of the best characters. Strongest in like strength, not in like heart. He still had a lot of heart inside of him to protect his friends. And he... Although he was getting beaten and then ro rose up, beaten, rose up, he showed an underdog inside of him. Choji was one of my one of the best characters. He still is, and I just thought that he found he showed that he wasn't a wink link. And after he took those pills, as he took the red one, it was good to see that he could finally use the butterfly mode, and that was a pretty cool thing. I kind of like Choji um, when he was when he took that red pill because he was like, "You take my very last food, but when you hurt my friends, and he, he grabbed his fist, he said, I will obliterate you.' And all you saw was chakra from his left hand, and he just defeated Jirobo with one last punch. But to see that he actually had good friends and that his whole life he was bullied because of his weight, it was one of the best fights in my life. And I just wish that that fight was longer. It was it was a lot of talking in it, I know, and I just said I don't like talking in it. But Jirobo versus Choji, Choji was a true underdog, and that's what really got me in this one. Now, this is an honorable mention. The only number one honorable mention I will see in this fight, it would probably have to be Killer B versus Sasuke. Uh, Killer B was a pretty good dude. I still love him because I like the rap. And he's a prick, and he, um, although they say his rap's pretty foolish, and they could be some at time to time, but sometimes he can actually make a good rap. I still feel like, um, Killer B versus Sasuke was an awesome fight. It was a lot, it was some talking in it, but not like, it was like, yeah, a lot, a little, a little talking, but Killer B almost beat the crap out of Sasuke. He, um, he almost killed Sasuke right at the point, and one for Jugo, Sasuke would have been dead. Sasuke would have been dead. I'm sorry. Sasuke would have been dead. But, I mean, Killer B and them was a good fight. But, forget all that. This is the number. Uno. Number one. 
number uno, number 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 one fight to me in Naruto franchise. Naruto? No, 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 no. One of the epic anime fight of all time to me. This is how big this should be. Kakashi versus Obito. Now, although we have not gotten an English dub for, version for this yet, we probably will when the DVD set comes out for it, when it has this battle. And that's when it'll probably come out with an English dub version. But to me, I don't care about English dub. I kind of like English sub better. This was fight was ultimate fast pacing, no talking, straight up, just straight up on. Ninja versus Ninja. Sharingan versus Sharingan with a Renegon. I mean, this fight was the most epic fight I ever seen, and I would watch. I watch this junk almost every day of my life. Not even joking. Every day, this fight was one of the best fights I've ever seen in my life. To know that Obito and Kakashi could finally bat it out, and they have all these flat. They have the flashbacks. It was like at, they actually followed up what they did when they were little, and to see that Obito was at his full strength, Kakashi was too. Well, sort of. Both of them were at some parts of it. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. They had nobody to interrupt it. They didn't have, they didn't have a distraction. All it was was straight up ninja on ninja. It was so fast paced and the kunai's coming out. I mean, I swear this was the best fight. Although Obito said, he will, I will let you win this fight. But I'm not conceding the war. I still felt like Obito won the fight. Obito won the fight. How he mercifully was smashing, almost smashed Kakashi's head in about five times. I mean, it was so epic. I mean, this was just, and this was fight was so just thrilling to see all this put together. Okay, guys, that is enough for me. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure to give this a like, subscribe, comment. I'm on Vine, Instagram, Twitter, all the cool, all cool stuff. Um, make sure to look me up, Crooked the Leader, and Crooked or Crooked the Leader on um, Instagram, either one. Um, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I will see you next time. I thank you for viewing.